All right, Striker VX versus Mav Mitchell on three lanes for the Rivals Coliseum. And with me, I have guest caster Excoundrel. Who do you like for this matchup, Excoundrel? Who do you think's favored Ooh, so, in terms so of official. player skill? Uh, I actually think these guys are very evenly matched. Uh, I think Striker has had to fight upwards when he's been playing on the ladder because of level disadvantage, which has mm -hmm. really helped him perfect, perfect his micro. But I have never beaten Mav on ladder ever. Mm -hmm. So I I can't really attest to sort of any weaknesses that I see from Mav. You might have a bit more of an insight into what Mav's like as a player. So what you're saying is that Mav is a colossal whale and Striker is like an actual actual good player. I don't think Mav's a whale. I just think he's one of those beta <laughs> players. I think he's one of those beta players that's been around a while, you know? Yeah, no, I, I was half joking there. Half joking. I know that Mav has unlocked the uh, many, many tiers of the credit bundle. So Mav, I see, oh, I see. has been right. playing these laser drones a lot lately, and I like that he's playing laser drones without Banshee. I'm a big fan of that. I think that if you're going to play laser drones or Banshee, you should play one. You shouldn't play both. Yes. Uh, the one issue that he's going to have is that there's nothing that's really going to deal with Mohawk apart from his laser troopers. So we can see that we can see that Striker's got a Mohawk in his deck. If that Mohawk comes out, it might be very, very tough for have to find a, a suitable response to it that's quick enough to catch up with the mohawk that's my only issue here i think that at equal levels the bikes will do a fine job right you can still just use two bike squads to kill a mohawk but i believe yeah, you yeah. need to send them at the same time i think if you send both separately the mohawk will actually kill them both yes you need to send them at exactly the same time but striker right, seems this is to looking have got... bad for mav mav is in real yeah. trouble here he's not he's not gonna be able to kill this predator tank in time and yeah there goes the first missile for striker and these laser drones GDI will... just don't do a good job against Pitbulls. They just don't, unfortunately. Pitbull is actually their, yeah. their nemesis. I just think GDI Wolf Factory, dude, this is uh, yeah. one of the things that if you don't run the Banshee, I think you're at a massive disadvantage to read GDI Wolf Factory as Nod. I agree completely. I think the, it's, such, it's such an uphill battle for GDI. I'm oh, sorry, for Nod now. Because you need, you used to, like, lasers used to be the counter to War Factory builds, but Shock Troopers and Flames have really put a dent in that plan. And as you can see, Mav is being forced to rely on laser drones instead of the missile troopers that he probably wants to use in this scenario, simply because the laser troops will melt so quickly to those shocks. Striker is doing a really good job of stacking, even when he's just moving his, his troops up towards the pads. And you can see laser troop uh, drones. Laser Troopers coming out now, but I mean, there is just that answer of the Shockwaves in there immediately for Striker, which I, I, I feel like deck-wise, Mav is just fighting an uphill battle in this scenario. I, I have to agree. I think Mav is playing a bit more of a for fun deck, and Striker has brought his serious business deck. And it's gonna, it's showing. It's showing in how the matchup is playing out. He's got two talented Ooh, players, and one he's brought... Oh my god. Okay. A little bit of mismicro from Striker there. Actually, if you saw that, what happened there? Mav played that really well. He moved his laser drones on the middle pad down and to the left so that the pit bull, which was trying to occupy that spot, instead of driving under them, it stopped because Striker had told it to go to that specific pad and it was that pad was now occupied. What Striker should have done is order his pit bull through the pad and then no air units would be able to block it. So Mav has taken advantage of his greater weight of experience there, I think, to steal a missile from Striker. Yeah, he, he just managed to block the game. If, even if you move an air unit directly in front of the path of a um, of a ground unit, it will it will cancel the action of the ground unit, and then you have to move your your ground unit beyond that air unit to yep. get onto the pad. Yep. So that's just exactly it's, yeah, really really nice. Yeah, now we yeah, see yeah. Striker stacking up his uh, stacking up his vehicles. It's gonna be really tough for Mav to break this. He's gonna need laser troopers, but I don't think he has time. The missile will just fire. Right, here way we go. Here's my hook. Yeah, this is a very late Mohawk. I think this, vi this uh, Venom is going to win at the top, and these lasers are going to win at the bottom. Mav actually has good matchups across the board here. Assuming that he can hold these pads for long enough, I think Ooh, he's in great shape. This is insane. He might be I think he's it got it. Oh, my God. And Mav Mitchell outplaying Striker, I believe. I firmly believe that he had matchup disadvantage there. Yeah, I, I feel like if he'd opened with laser drones, he might have been able to, to actually solidify that first missile much, much more readily, but... There we see Mara Mitchell taking the first victory of the February Coliseum.